Hi everybody, I have two tactics for you for dealing with severe depression. So if you're somebody who has very bad mood dips or lows or whatever you, want to, uh, whatever you want to call them and you kind of end up physically frozen, uh, you know when you kind of, you know you're feeling low and then you end up staying in one place for a long time so you kind of end up uh, paralysed almost, you know, on the sofa or just in one place and you find yourself kind of staring into space and you can't seem to get your, get yourself going and get yourself motivated and you're kind of, so it's almost like your brain is stuck in a certain position and your body's stuck as well. Well, I've come up with a couple of quick ways of, of getting out of that state. So it's about changing your physiology and your actions which in turn will help alleviate the depression in the short term so the first thing you can do is if you're stuck in one place the first thing you can do is and it can feel really really hard at the time it can feel like you're stuck in quicksand and I've literally just done this myself and realized how how much it works so I thought I'm going to make a video so the first thing you want to do is you want to change your position physically Okay, so I was laid on the sofa, resting, relaxing, watching a DVD. Uh, you know, I've been in physical pain, so I've been relaxing, but I realised that my mood was getting quite low. And I didn't want to get, get up, I didn't want to go up to the bathroom, I didn't want to move and do anything else. But I knew that if I did, I would feel better because it's like that saying, a change is as good as a rest. So sometimes you need to physically get up and change your physical position. So I got up and I came upstairs and did a few things. And then I thought I'm gonna make a video. So just the act of physically moving and changing your your view, your perspective, your bodily position. You know, if you've been laid down, if you've been hunched over, you know, you might wanna be straightening up for a bit and kind of moving around. And that just helps you get some forward thinking again, even though it feels really hard. And then the second thing you want to do is to is to say to yourself, what's going to help me feel better right now? So it's like a self-soothing, it's an instant soothing thing. What's going to make me feel better right now, no matter how silly, no matter how small? And it could be as small as going and making a, a cup of tea, this really small soothing action and also this act of caring for yourself and doing something for yourself and it, it will feel soothing so you want to physically change position you want to ask yourself what can i do right now to improve how i feel or to make myself feel better you know even if it's cuddling up with a teddy bear it it can be a completely private thing and then the third thing is you want to take some action on something that's going to give you a sense of achievement afterwards. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be an action to do with maybe why you're feeling depressed. You don't necessarily have to take some steps forward on that. But what definitely helps is taking some action on something, particularly an action where you can see a, a physical result. So for example, tidying up is a brilliant thing. Um, for me, decluttering is another thing. Once I get started with decluttering, it's very hard for me to stop. And I might not want to do it, but then I find that I'm doing it for two, three hours and I'm going through drawers and then I think, well, I've done that drawer, I'll do the next drawer and it's like a chain reaction. And at the end of it, uh, I can see the physical results. I can see that I've tight, you know, I've made things look physically nicer. I've decluttered and maybe I've got another bag of rubbish ready to chuck out. Or I've got another bag of stuff ready to go to the charity shop. So the act of taking action in a productive way is really, really helpful because I think one of the things that contributes to depression is a feeling of helplessness so it's kind of like a helplessness or a hopelessness and you and you just don't 
feel that you can make a difference or you can take any action you maybe feel like it's just not worth doing anything so the act of doing something physical I think it has to be something physical it has to be something that gets you a bit hot and sweaty and something you can get stuck into where you can see a visible result in front of you and you feel a sense of achievement <clears throat> it's the most amazing feeling and it really doesn't take much you could literally say okay I'm gonna I'm gonna clear out that messy drawer in the kitchen and you literally tip the drawer out and you start going through things and it's such an amazing feeling even if you're not massively keen on tidying just seeing what you've achieved is is really good for your confidence it's good for your self-esteem it also teaches you it, you're telling yourself I can do something look what I've achieved and then from then on you might feel more you'll probably feel more motivated to do other things and to take more steps and what I find is those three things will generally lift you out of a depression they'll significantly take you away from depression so just to summarize again number one you want to physically change your position change your posture get up from where you are and go somewhere else even if you don't leave the house number two you want to ask yourself what's going to help me feel better right now number three you want to do something physical and productive even if it's a really small job and it's not related to you know how you're feeling it can be a really really small thing it could be doing the washing up I find for me personally doing something with my hands where I can see a visible result really helps me feel better. So hope that's helped you guys. Give it a try. If you've got any more ideas for videos, let me know and I will catch you soon for another video. Okay, bye.